Hello everybody, my name is Drew, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Sky Factory 3. Hanging out here, working away, the usual schleel, uh, schleel, spiel. Uh, but let's talk about actually what I've been working on, and let's take a look at what this monstrosity is. Uh, I took it upon myself to uh, upgrade our mob farm with a little bit of extra. Mostly because I was uh, really not happy with how it was performing. Uh, I don't know that this is all that much better, though, uh, all things considered, but it does seem to be a little faster. So the, you guys can see what I did. I expanded the dimensions, uh, made it easier for uh, things to get sucked down the, uh, the, dying, the dying hole. The bigger problem I'm having now is just that these guys kind of get stuck around that, and I was trying to avoid that by having those spikes there, but uh, not, not so much luck. I'm wondering if I might put a second obelisk at some point lower down to attract the spiders down there. And if I might, instead of having this set up, just have these guys churning at the bottom. Here, let me turn these guys back on. What I might do instead is actually put a, a instead of having more uh, vector plates, they can just drop down onto a, a set of these uh, mob grinders. I think that actually might be an easier solution. Than what we're currently doing. Uh, the good news is we haven't had any bats spawning, so that's not clogging anything in the system up. I still need to grab a soul vial for a witch at some point, but they seem to go pretty quick. Nobody, nobody's really hanging out too long on the platform except spiders, which I, honestly I don't care that much about spiders. So the people that need to get sucked down in here to die, they're they're doing that uh, lickety split, and I'm happy about that. Hey. You, hey, bit, bit, bit. where are you going? Get back here. Fuck you, Enderman. I think he died. Or he teleported somewhere else. That's all that matters. Uh, let's talk about what else I was working on here. So I, I went ahead and expanded our farms one more layer, this time going a little different in the form of uh, fertilized dirt. I don't know why I haven't bothered putting fertilized dirt under all the farms, because it will increase your growth rate a little bit. Not anything noticeable, uh, obviously, at this stage, because, dear God, we're insane with the amount of stuff we're making. Excuse me, I didn't drink of water. Um, but I've added a uh, energetic alloy and a vibrant alloy farm, so we're now making a ton of that stuff. And I finally got rid of the essence farm that was here, and we're now making end essence which is really good because we need draconium dust and the only way to get draconium dust is by sieving out uh, crushed end stone so that that's going along what i need to do is have the same setup i've kind of commandeered because i don't really need to process um i don't really need to process while well, i was using this guy and nether rack i don't really need to process uh, process that anymore so instead i'm switching to crushed end stone because that's just a little easy. It's, it's more what we need right now. I don't really need to crush that stuff. Especially because we now have an Ardite and a Cobalt farm and Manalium. So we don't really need to worry about sieving that out. Uh, other than that, nothing really else has changed. I mean, I mean some more growth crystals and eh, not, not much else. But we're having a storage problem. I mentioned this last episode. And my solution was to temporarily expand this. Well, not temporarily, but was the, the temporary fix, rather, was... I'm stuck on this goddamn cabling. Uh, the temporary fix was, as you've seen, add more storage, but that, that has a finite limit, especially when we're dealing with all of the essence stuff. So my thought was to look into quantum storage. Um, and, well, and I've also killed a bunch of with nether star withers, so we have a bunch of nether stars to work with today as well. But let's take a look at this whole... Um, this whole thing resolving around quantum. Um... Well, before we get that out, actually, I'm going to put a pin in that for a hot second. Let's talk about the dragon egg. Um, I have yet to be able to go back and kill a dragon. I've been back to the end a bunch, just getting the required materials for the end clusters to make end essence. But I haven't been able to get the dragon to spawn yet. I'm still waiting for the dragon to spawn. You can't use the regular vanilla... Excuse me. You can't use the end crystals from the vanilla to do that, unfortunately. Uh, you just kind of have to let the end dragon respawn, which is kind of sucked, but what are you going to do? I would like us to get more of that because I really, really want to get Dragon's Breath, but got to wait, and I haven't had a chance to just kind of sit there and, and wait in the end for it to spawn. 
So maybe I'll do that another episode or time. But for now, let's take a look at quantum storage because we need that in our life. So quantum storage is added by its own mod and is very similar, I think, to the deep storage mod that was from, or not deep storage, deep storage unit, which is from Mine Factory Reloaded. At least that's my guess. We're going to find out. So to make this guy is actually pretty simple. All you need is a machine frame uh, or a machine chassis from Ender IO, four obsidian chests, ender pearls, and some iron. So let's go ahead. We're going to need to make a lot of chests here. So why don't we make gold chests? Actually, why don't we make... What am I doing? I need to make... So let's go chests here real quick then. Because we're going to need a lot of iron chests regardless to make this thing. So why don't we... We'll make multiples because there's some items I think we may want to transfer to these on a more permanent basis. Where's iron chests on this list? I see no chest. Ah, there it is. Iron chest. So we can make... Let's make four of them for now. And then we'll just upgrade them, I think, is the best course of action here. Make a gold chest. And then we want to be able to make this into a diamond chest. Make four diamond chests, because we need four obsidian chests. And now we can go quantum storage. And we're able to make the obsidian chest. Now, I don't think these chests are any bigger than a diamond chest. Do I even have a diamond chest anywhere? Did I just drop? Did I just drop something? Did I just drop? No, I don't think I did. Do I even have a diamond chest? I don't think that I do. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I've, I bothered upgrading that. Because it is a bit of an aggressive jump for storage. Let's open up a... Well, let's, let's look at the upgrades then. Uh, at iron. Because you can just straight up upgrade things and that makes it a little easier. I know crystal chests are basically diamond chests, but clear. So... I don't know. Let's grab a couple of these. Upgrade. Up. And let's compare. So that's the uh, the gold chest versus the diamond chest. So you can see that it pretty much, I think, keeps its depth, but it adds uh, extra width to it. So it is a much larger chest, to be fair. So it's useful. Very, very, very useful. But let's, uh, let's make this obsidian chest for a second. I want to make... Let's just put one down and compare it. So the obsidian chest looks like it's the same as a diamond chest, but perhaps not any more difficult to destroy. Interesting. Oh, they made me wither resistant, or, or not wither, uh, creeper resistant, because they're made of obsidian, but easy to break otherwise. Quantum storage unit. So what is the maximum of this thing? In, out. I don't know that there is... Okay, well, let's grab an export bus, export, and I believe some, and a storage bus too, actually. External storage bus, thank you. Oh, I'm missing, what am I missing? Distraction core, of course. Of course I would. Okay, how about, yeah, thank you. There's our storage bus, external and we're going to need speed upgrades. Let's just grab all three. And a stack upgrade will probably not be out of order. So where do we want to put this? I'm going to say, let's put this right here. So that'll go there. I'm going to say, knock that out. External storage will go here. And we're going to grab the exporter. And I'm going to give it an instruction. Uh, i got to go upstairs for that, though. So we want to tell it to export, of course, all of our basic essence. Because there's a lot of Infernium. There's a lot of Infernium. Which is a good thing. Which is a very good thing. Please do not get me wrong. We 100% need to have all this. Okay, so let's go there. Like that. So that should store it pretty quick. And it's going to go automatically into that out point and I should see no drop functionally on there excellent that's what I want to see but I want to stack upgrades we might need to make a few more speed upgrades oh no I have a stack upgrade look at that excellent so 
So let's go ahead and do that. This should free up a lot of space. Honestly, this is what I should be doing for uh, sand, gravel, and dirt and shit like that, but the system we have now uh, functions just fine. So now you can see that that's going significantly faster. So that's good. 4K, excellent. All right, so I'm gonna let that uh, do its thing. And in the meantime, why don't we take a look at what we can use these nether stars for. Particularly, I wanted to make this a premium bow now that we have the ability to do so. So to make one, remember we needed one of these, which is the uh, Supremium Tool Core. Uh, let's see, how do I make this for realsies though? Intermediate. So I need to make a whole bunch of tool cores, is what it appears to be telling me. Okay, so why don't we go tool core then? Tool core, excellent. Okay, so we're gonna need flint gold in that thing. So why don't I grab, we're gonna need, well, hold on. Needs a base essence ingot. Okay, so I should have base essence. Oh, uh, essence. Ooh, do I not have any base essence ingots? How does one make you? Okay, so I need prosperity shards and iron to make that. So I should have that in the main system then, right? Do I have the materials to you? Oh, I do, good. Give to me, thank you. So we'll throw that in there and now I can make that tool core. This is very interesting because it's, it's kind of a unique process. Ah, perfect. I'll take that. So there's our first tool core and now we can make a second one. I might need to go grab the Prudentium. Yeah, I'm gonna have to grab a little bit of each of the essences. That's okay. Oh my God, when I can finally get advanced speed, I'll be so happy. Okay, so we needed uh, a little bit of each one here. So I'm gonna grab 32 of each because we're really only making a single tool core at this point. Am I out of intermediate? Oh, I am. That's not good. Let's just start crafting. Start. Whew, that's not good. Anyway, all right. Let's, uh, well, actually, I can just go, I can just go down a level. There you go. It's not like I don't have enough there. So let's go here and let's go back to tool core. Once again, we're just kind of jumping around menus and stuff all the time. It's kind of the usual workflow of these mad, uh, mod packs, I find. And this one, and now I can grab this one. Oh, like that, look at that. So we have this guy and we can use it in a variety of different ways. We can make a Supremium sword, pickaxe, etc., etc., etc. But we want to make a bow because I want to make the best bow I possibly can. Ah, I still need Supremium ingots for that. How does one make that? Oh, I guess I need... Uh, like, sure. Actually, let's make it more than that. Because then we'll need more than that. And I'm going to need more of that for the recipe that I want, anyway. So we can go like this. It's a very interesting way of making... Oh, am I missing a step? I am missing a step, aren't I? And I can take Supremium real quick, and I'll turn it into this stuff, which I can turn into that stuff. Hey, there we go. That's what I like seeing. And now I should be able to make, oh, come on now, that. And now I can make Supremium, right? Yeah, all right. Beauty. Okay, so let's make that final core. Or not final core. What am I talking about? Let's make the bow. Uh, I just need string, which I surprisingly don't have a lot of string. It's always a pain in the butt, but we can go grab some more. Oh, these guys are starting to get up there. Damn it. I need something to attract them into the middle. It's very frustrating that that's not the case. Was that... Was that Direwolf 20? 
That is definitely Dire Wolf 20. Who's saying? I guess it's his character. That's fucking hilarious. I've never heard that before. But I suppose I always have that area sound muffled. That is really funny. <laughs> okay. Hey, that doesn't work. Do I need special string for this? Oh, I need mystical bowstring for this. Oh. Well, pardon me. Oh, I didn't need to make that much mystical bowstring. Oh, whatever. Okay, well, now, now we can make a bow. Should be this bow. Uh, bam. So we have this new bow to work with. And I bet you I need regular arrows to fire it. Let's grab those. Yep. So it has unlimited durability. The damage is 4.25, draw speed 80. And there's a charm slot. Now the charms, I don't know what makes those. We can find that out. So take a look at the charms. There's a whole bunch of different stuff. There's mining AoE. But what about combat? Weather resistance, anti-venom, fire resistance, strength. Increase your attack damage. Chest plate and sword. Sword. Well, what about for the bow? That's what I want to know. Speed, boots, pickaxe, shears, bow. Quick draw. Triple shot. Triple shot. Excuse me? My god. Quick draw is good. I want more damage though. Scythe, sickle, shears. I guess that's really our only options is the triple shot. Which I'm not on the two Supremium bows. Are you fucked? My god. Okay. That's gonna suck. And what was this rainbow thing? Rainbow charm gives roll a random color. That's hilarious. Quick draw. A little easier with just the apples. But that doesn't help me necessarily. I wonder if I can enchant it. I must be able to enchant this. Let's find out. Can I enchant it? No. Not enchantable. Interesting. So this... I'm not sure how I feel about this bow compared to... Our other bow. Our long bow. I, I don't think it's going to be as good. Let's go test it. Let's go into the nether. Because you guys remember the bow that I made last episode. Uh, or last between episodes. More or less one shots pretty much everything in the nether. So if, where is it, there we go, if that's the case with the Supremium Bow, by having unlimited durability, that makes it the better bow. Okay, well it's two arrows to kill these guys, I guess. Okay. Oh, it's a one bow to, ooh, ooh, ooh. It is one to kill them with this. Not as much range, though. That's interesting. Because that definitely goes further. At least I think it does. Yeah. Where'd that go? Where was that? Okay, there's another Wither Skeleton. So if I shoot him in the head, it does not kill him. How about the body? Mm, also, no. These guys die pretty much instantaneously, though. So I'm not really worried about the blazes, because we know they will die. So what if I just shoot him in the body, then? Oh, fuck, I'm out of arrows. Damn it. Okay, so that's that's definitely going to be a better bow, then. I just need arrows, or the ability to give it... I wonder if there is a way to enchant it. I might not be able to run it through the enchanter like normal. I might have to manually apply enchantments. I don't know that I want to try that, though. Let's try that. we got time left in the episode. And I'm interested to see how these Supremium tools work. I'm also interested to see what the Draconic Evolution tools are. Um, we can actually look at that right now if we want. Uh, let's go at Draconic. So Draconic stuff is realistically, I think this is the end game content. It, it's going to require us automating both the Wither and the Ender Dragon somehow. I haven't quite got that far in my brain yet, but we'll get there. More importantly, it has really good tools. And the first set of tools, which is the Wyvern gear, is supposed to be significantly better than, than what normal stuff is. So we've got this energy core. Did I make the bow for the Wyvern? 
I feel like I did make the bow of the wyvern. I feel like that was a thing that did happen. Now that I'm thinking about it. We did! We did make the bow of the wyvern. Aha! Uh -huh. And why don't I just so why don't I try giving the bow of the wyvern the ability to have infinite arrows? Let's find that. Where is that on here? That's protection. Wait, these are both protection. Oh, fire protection. XP boost, auto smelt. Believe it's gonna be where are you? Ah, the arrow should be projectile protection. Nope. That's not what I want. Where is... I can't remember what the name of the enchantment is now. Infinity? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Soap touch, efficiency, looting, fire aspect. And breaking, and breaking would be good. Mending is also good. Fortune, power. Okay, here we go. Punch, flame, infinity. Aha, so I needed 15 lapis. And an ender pearl and a book. Okay, so we need to get rid of you. Let's go up here. We're going to grab 15 lapis. Oh, I don't know what that was that I just put in there. Hopefully that was not something important. I don't think it was, though. I hate how this thing jiggles around sometimes. I don't... Oh, there's my arrow. Uh, that's what I wanted. Arrow. Get over here. This stuff we can put away, though. So that can go away. That guy, that can go away, and that can go away. So we needed, what did I say? We needed Lapis and we needed an Ender Pearl. So let's grab ourselves an Ender Pearl. Ooh, 4.9k, that's good. And we needed Lapis, which I might as well just grab a whole bunch. And we need a Book and Quill, of course, of course. Book and Quill. All right, let's go take a look downstairs. So, we'll throw that in there. I love this system, by the way. Very, very good. And, I'm sorry, what did I need? The Ender Pearl, of course. So, let's grab that. And now, on our Wyvern Bow, well, let's even see if we can enchant the Supremium Bow. Doesn't look like I can. Oh, I can! I can do that. Oh, very, very good. Very, very good. Okay, let's make another Book and Quill then. Because having Infinity on both of this just makes sense. So let's grab another Ender Pearl. And we'll grab another Book and Quill. I, 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 call me crazy, but I think that just makes more sense. Because then we can kind of accurately test. So let's go ahead and put Infinity Enchantment, Wyvern Bow. Thank God that is so cheap to put on these. But I can do it. Oh, I need more levels. Clicking on the right spot would help. Now, I should... I don't even need to have an arrow in my thing. Excellent. Now, the quick charm... The quick draw charm might be probably the only thing we're going to go with here. Punch can go on here for sure. Or power. Both the wyvern... Seems like it, see, this is going to be more upgradable. RF capacity, arrow damage, air speed, whereas the Supremium Bow just takes those charms. So now it's a competition to see which of these bows is better. So I guess let's take a look at that uh, in the last couple moments of the episode. I'm very intrigued to see what the damage difference is. And realistically, I'm going off of killing Wither Skeletons, because I think they do, in fact, have the most health out of regular enemies. I will say that the Supremium Bow draws faster and does more damage initially than the Wyvern Bow certainly has. Wow, I cannot hit this boy. There we go. So it can't kill with one armor shot, but it is killing him there. So Quick Draw might actually be the way to go on the Supremium Bow until I can upgrade the Wyvern stuff. Interesting. Or get to Draconic, because I think Draconic is just, as a rule, even better. Uh, plus upgradable. Very interesting. So how do we make that charm? Let me remember. Let's go take a look, because I would like to make that charm and see... See how that gets done. Okay, so if I wanted to use this in any way... 
So that's the triple shot. I would need two of them. Core Mover gets me my tool core back on the tinkering table. Ah, what does this do? Ah, okay. So I put the quick charm. Okay, so let's make... We're going to need four intermediate apples. Okay, so let's go make those. Apples, because uh, we can do that. Four intermediate apples. Dirt. Where are they? Well, it's taking a lot longer than I thought to make. I guess it's got to make all the base ones first. Three. Come on, give me a fourth. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Go faster. I do miss, I do miss the mass assemble units. I'll give you that. Okay, I'm just going to grab that for now. Come on, man. What the hell are you waiting for? Like, you would swear to God I had no essence. Uh, where are you? Wow, that is actually not done yet. What is actually missing right now? Oh, I think it's the intermediate essence that I'm missing. Are these not producing? This must be producing stuff. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that is. Okay. It's just as fast as it can produce. It's going. That's that's unfortunate. Okay, how about now? Because what are you missing? How can you still be missing essences? Oh, I bet you I know why. Hold on. Because this guy is at... Oh, that's at max? Because these are not at max. Okay, hold on. What am I doing? I'm just going to grab one of this and... Now, hopefully that'll make my other apple go. Yeah, there we go. Where are you? There we go. Okay, cool. We're running low on time here. Let's do this quick like. So I needed to use these four apples in conjunction with a whole bunch of other stuff. So we need to make a blank charm, which needs something special, evidently, of course. It's a premium block, of course. Okay, now... Now let's make a blank charm. Go back to there. Go there. Oh, I need some premium. Or, yeah, whatever. The blue stuff. I need the blue essence. Blue essence. Suppose I should make even more essence at some point then. Such a shame. Okay, there we go. We can make that quick draw charm. Now, how do I use this thing on the Tinker's Table? So, it tells me I'm going to need three Prosperity Shards, four Supremium Essence. On the Tinker's Table? Are we sure that's how? Oh, Tinkering Table. Oh, Tinkering Table. That is different. So, I guess I can do it that way then? I might as well. We'll put it over here so it's in the same area, I guess. So let's put that there. This goes there. That goes there. So now I need four Supremium. One, two, three, four. Four, come on. And then I need Prosperity Shards. And then that should be everything. So we're going to go ba -ba 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 like that. And that's going to go up the side. So now I have the ability to quick draw which is 150% draw speed. Holy tamoly, that's fucking fast. Arrows, let's grab some arrows. Do I not have any more arrows? No, I must have more arrows. Impossible. I can't have gotten rid of all my arrows. To be fair though, I guess I wasn't working with arrows. And we're almost at a time here. Get one of those. Wow, that's fast. But it no longer has infinity on it. Oh, I got to redo that. Okay, I'll do that between episodes. Should have known better. Should have known better. That's okay. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the episode. Super cool experiment with the bows today. We're going to get deeper into Draconic Evolution and a whole bunch of other stuff as we move on. As always, if you liked it, you guys know what to do. Leave a like. You can always find other work I've done in the description box. And of course, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.